Today I'm going to be making a bed, a twin size bed for my four year old. Now I'm going to have plans for this and there's a website article so be sure to check out the link down in the description. Uh, but if you have a need for a bed you can easily change the dimensions of this and create a king or a queen or whatever your needs are. So the first thing that I do is just break down all the plywood and then I'm going to add some design elements into this bed making all of this out of plywood. So I'm going to be adding in some angled legs. I'm going to cut out all of these uh, sides and ends with a jigsaw to kind of give me my leg profile. And so one thing that I learned through this whole process was that I needed to just trust the jigsaw and let it do the work. Uh, I tried to rush a couple of cuts and my blade started wandering on me and you just have to let the, the blade do the work itself and you just kind of guide it along the path. So with this particular style, I'm making uh, the four outside pieces, the two ends and the two sides, as you just saw. Uh, but there's going to be some internal parts to this. I'm cutting down, or have already cut down on the table saw, a bunch of strips uh, of plywood. And I'm just cutting them to length here. Uh, this is going to create a internal or a like a uh, uh, section of the bed up underneath for support. Uh, it's kind of like where the slats are going to go, uh, but they're all going to be installed beforehand and then uh, there'll be a panel to go on top of it. Now, I made a big mistake here and I drilled too many holes in too many of the pieces. Um, these pieces that I'm drilling here are, are for the uh, rectangular support piece, but then I just go ahead and drill holes in everything, which I didn't mean to do. Uh, but let me talk about Atlas 46 for a second. Uh, they, as you get, most of you guys know, support a lot of what I do. But I, I get a lot of questions about, does that vest get in your way or is it in the way when you bend over? And as you can see, it does not get in my way. And that's why I wanted to show you here in this particular scene that I have no issues with my vest bending over or even squatting. So if you guys want to check them out, there'll be a link down in the description. So getting back to the project, here I'm creating what I'm calling the lower support assembly. And, and all that's just going together with just butt joints and pocket holes. So no big deal. Here I'm adding in a support strip according to plan to each section of the bed frame. So when the bed frame goes together, it's going to create this nice support ledge all the way around the inside of the bed frame. And that's going to give the lower support assembly something to attach to. And then on top of all of that will be a support panel that the mattress will rest on, which should be plenty enough support. So I'm going to add in some accents uh, with dowel rods. And I've done this on quite a few of my projects. So if you've been following me for a while, you've probably seen this before. But I've got a three quarter inch dowel rod and I'm using a three quarter inch Forstner bit uh, to create the holes. And I'll insert these little sections of dowel rods that you just see, saw me cut and I'm going to glue all these in at one time instead of you know adding glue into you know one of the holes inserting the dowel rod cutting it and doing that over and over again here I can just drill my holes cut my dowel rods into however many pieces that I need and then insert them all at once and let it let the glue dry uh, so I don't have to repeat you know the the process over and over and over this is just easier so that is going to provide some visual interest that I like to incorporate. So once the glue is cured, I can go in with a flush cut saw and just trim off the rest of the dowel rods that's sticking out and then go back and sand everything down nice and flush with the surface of the plywood. Speaking of plywood, I just want to give a big thanks to Pure Bond Plywood. They help support what I do as well. And so I use a lot of Pure Bomb plywood on, in my projects. Uh, I really just love it for the simple fact that it's eco-friendly. It's made right here in North America. And I just love the ply look that it gives uh, when everything's finished. I really like to incorporate that as well as a uh, design element or accent. So uh, if you want to check out Pure Bomb plywood, there's a link down in the description for them as well. As for the finish on this project, I'm just using a water-based polyacrylic, which I tend to go to on a lot of my projects. Uh, it's just really easy to apply, it's easy to clean up, and it looks great and on the wood. It brings out the character, and as you can see, there's the contrasting color with the dowel rods that I was looking for. 
And so I just really like using this finish. Uh, and this is also going to provide some form of protection. Uh, and some of my other projects that I created out of plywood that my kids used, I used this finish and it's it's been great. I haven't had any issues. So I'm just really pleased with how this whole project has come together. So this bed is truly a DIY platform bed. I mean, I've used less than two sheets of plywood on this project and I've cut everything down with a circular saw for the most part. I did use a table saw to cut some of my strips just because I've got one. Uh, and then I also used a jigsaw to cut out the legs and everything. And now I'm using a drill. So if you have limited tools, this is a doable project. Uh, this is something that will last you as well. But honestly, I mean, these legs go together with three pocket holes, as you can see. And it's just really, really easy. And with the support ledge that you see on the inside of the bed frame there, uh, this is going to add a, a lot of support once you add in the lower support assembly. So that lower support assembly I was telling you about is going to rest right on top of that support ledge on the inside of the bed frame. And with a couple of screws on each side, you should be good to go with that part. Now you can add the support panel that I've been telling you about. Now I've got pocket holes on the top side of this and the thing with this is you want to make sure that it's seated nice and tight all the way down to that lower support assembly. And so once you get it pushed down, you can just add in the pocket hole screws all the way around and you'll be good to go. So once you've got all that in place, that is the assembly on the bed. And I'm telling you, this thing is strong, so it supports me walking on it. You should have nothing to worry about. And this thing just turned out absolutely beautiful. Uh, while you're looking at these pictures, I just want to encourage you, if you are not a subscriber, to please subscribe. Be sure to check out the links down in the description and check out the project plan that is over on my website. There are links down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.